with a mother gunned down minutes after dropping her children off at a daycare center. Tonight, a suspect is in custody after being shot by police. Investigators were spread out across two scenes, both tied to the same shooting. We brought you this as breaking news this morning on uh, midday. And tonight, we have team coverage. We start with IT mates Richard Essex, who's been following this story since it first broke this morning. Police say the victim was targeted. She had taken her children inside the daycare, came back out to her car when the suspect drove up and opened fire. But we know that violence of this nature to take a mother away from her children is senseless. senseless. For the past several years, the victim brought her children to charity daycare on West 10th Street so that she could work. Today was different. She walked her children into the building, made sure they were in the proper place, and then returned to her car and was met by gunfire. This is a one of a kind uh, isolated incident. We've never had something like this that we weren't able to defuse or catch something in its own before it happened. When the shooting started, it was a busy part of the morning. Other parents and children were coming into the building. On most days, the daycare has more than 300 kids and 50 staff members in the building. Charity Daycare has been a staple in the Hallville neighborhood for decades. It was founded by Pastor Jeffrey Thomas. His children have now taken over the reins. This situation that has happened today here on our complex is heartbreaking. This family has been with us for six years. We know them very well. We mourn with the mother, the family, the children, our staff members, our community, her friends, her co-workers. IMPD is not calling this an act of domestic violence. They say it's too early in the investigation to make any statements about motive. However, Danielle Smith, the director of domestic violence prevention for the Indy Public Safety Foundation, offered her assistance to the victim's family and friends. Smith says help is there for people in abusive or dangerous domestic situations. Uh, so they should be reaching out to an advocate at a domestic violence agency that can walk them through the steps of getting fleeing out of that situation if it's a, a need to where they need to flee immediately or, you know, they'll be able to walk them through a plan of being able to safely exit that, that home and get into a safe shelter, um, a safe emergency placement, but ultimately connecting with an advocate so that way they can walk you through um, each step of the way because it can be totally dangerous when you're fleeing. As the police and the investigators left the area, Pastor Jeffrey Thomas II gathered the staff for prayer just 10 yards from the front door of the daycare where a woman, a friend of the church and the daycare had lost her life. The grief was more than some could take. By noon, all of the children that were at the daycare had been picked up and taken elsewhere. I am told they will have grief counselors on site when they reopen. I asked the pastor if he plans on opening Monday, and he said he wasn't sure when they were going to open, but it could be sometime late next week. In Indianapolis, Richard Essex, Wish TV, IT Made.